before, after. What's up guys? Thank you guys for tuning into this video this week. We're going to be doing a little DIY do it yourself project. Now you know girl is on a budget. We just move out. We're still in the moving out series slash new apartment. And as you saw in the first clip, we're going to be turning two flower pots into a bedside table. Now, if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. And if you are new, subscribe, like, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think or if you guys tried it. So for this project, you're going to need two flower pots. Mine's were about 16 inches tall, something there about. But basically just in the store, put one pan the floor and put the other one on top and see if it's tall enough for you. So you need two flower pots. Um, I use zip ties or you can use glue you can use e6000 or i don't think i don't think um i don't think i don't think the glue gun would hold it sturdy enough but the zip tie was a perfect idea because my e6000 glue she took up her foot and she walked gone so i don't know where it is so i had to use get creative and use the zip tie so you need two flower pots zip ties spray paint whatever color you want if you want to paint it you can do that as well and also a cutting board to put on top disclaimer i could not find a cutting board a round cutting board in jamaica so i asked a carpenter to cut um i asked a carpenter to cut out this wood for me i think he actually joined it um together but yeah basically this a cutting board i'm also going to show you guys another option that you can use i don't know if you guys can find it but i'm going to give you another option in the at the end of this video but yeah this is the board and that's it so i'm going to be doing a voice over through the process so i'll see you guys when it's done so as i said i didn't have any glue so i just heated up this screwdriver like you have to make fashion sometime and just bore some holes at at the bottom of the flower pot itself i lost some footage but basically that's it see me a burn hole for you see burn it and bore the hole then to get the holes to be to line up exact i use a marker and traced it onto the bottom of the second one just so everything can line up perfectly as you can see there and then the bore hole like that also i got some tie straps and i just poked it in and pull it through nothing hard guys it's not hard you just poke it through and then yeah go flip it over and put it back through and then do the tie strap thing as you guys are gonna see here um footage of me poking it back up and yeah yeah, yeah get the mats now right yeah see the 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 yeah basically i say what well, you're not done. You know what I'm going. You just poke it through and push it back through. Hurry up, now, girl. Hurry up. Oh, this so long. People don't goodly click off of the video already. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah. But carefully, I fear do this. Jeez, um, um, yeah. So you pull it up back and then put it through. And then just pull the tie strap. And that's it. You do that for... I did four to kind of secure it and then i clipped it off if you guys want you can add something inside to make it sturdy i didn't do that as yet so as you can stay one place but i'm gonna do that later on and as you can see it is very sturdy better than the glue in my opinion will work gone so here i am spraying it i use this spray paint um regret using this i had to use like three to a little bit liquid coming out of the can but yeah that's me spraying it spray spray spraying whatever color you guys want to spray it in or you can paint it also shovel did bring one mask as he must say you know and then in did one spray it too but he must spray it like when he my airbrush which probably even doesn't spray it but <laughs> yeah as i said it ran out so i had to go and get one more bottle and that 
basically finished it so as you can see it's practically finished it's painted white but as i told you i had a little dilemma i was waiting for this but i looked at my bathroom mirror and it looked pretty nice to go on top of it so i tried it and i'm going to show you guys both of them and you guys can vote and let me know which one do you prefer do you prefer the wood or do you prefer the mirror because what i could do is just get another mirror and put it on top or use the wood also i wanted this in white so but it's so pretty like the earth color it's so pretty so i'm conflicted right now i'm going to show you guys the wood, this wood and also the mirror and you guys can comment and let me know which one you prefer remember i wanted like a white theme room but the wood is so so pretty let me know okay guys so that is the finished product i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you try it also remember to comment and tell me which one you would choose or should i paint the wood white and just make everything coincide thank you guys for watching please like subscribe drop a comment send it to somebody who would are interested in it you know thank you guys see you next week bye oh,